Hi, welcome to The Virgo Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Redneck Holodazzle, you saw some last week, and now there's more good stuff on it to be watching. And so thank you again for supporting the Redneck Holodazzle, and here's Redneck Holodazzle Part 2. It's holy, mysterious, irrational, inexplicable, and yet so rare that the finest poets have never succeeded in fully expressing it. And it's joy. <laughs> Love is a happen. And in our game this evening, we will see if that happens with our royal bachelor when he meets four amazing bachelorettes. <laughs> And let's tell you about The Bachelor. He likes poetry. <laughs> Hot air ballooning. And underwater basket weaving. His mother once told him he could reach for the stars. And he once spent a full month at the peak of Mount Everest just to see if he could actually touch those stars. He's a genius in all marks. <clears throat> So here he is, your bachelor, Mr. Love him and leave him, Mr. Hit it and quit it, Mr. Pump it and dump it, your crown king, Mr. Redneck Burgess, Anthony Solon. We are going to meet the girls. Girl number one, or lady, or woman. Or other. <laughs> is Dottie Calhoun from Clarksville, Virginia. Dottie. That's a beautiful Dottie. <laughs> Her career is a professional catfish noodler. Her turn ons include drinking beer on the tailgate of a pickup truck. Men who can fart louder than her, and guys in cowboy hats. Her turn off and food. <laughs> Their turnoffs include guys from the cities that dress in suit coats with greased up hair, gold chains, and goatees. We'll meet contestant number two now. Flora. <laughs> Flora Maple. Queen of the tree stand. Heroin from Nacogdoches, Texas. <laughs> Nacogdoches, Texas. Let's hear a round of applause for Flora Maple. When she isn't starring in adult movies. I like that one. <laughs> She's a deer hunting guide for her fellow Texans. Her turn on include bald heads, firefighters, good cooking, and one night stands. I choose that one. Let's go to bar. Her turn offs include sobriety and classical music. <laughs> And her most prized possession is her, <laughs> is her collection of t-shirts with kittens on them. Oh, what a little peck on the Oh, give her a round of applause. Give her a little peck on the What about the bachelor? I told you last night. Come on now. <laughs> He's shy. All right, contestant number three is Sue Ellen Sugarbush. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Roadkill from Bowdoin, North Dakota. Located in the heart of the oil fields. <laughs> Sue Ellen is a manly woman <laughs> who isn't afraid of getting dirty, if you know what I mean. When she isn't fracking the earth of black gold. Fracking? Fracking. Yeah, okay. Fracking. It's just made sure you're She's wrestling grizzly bear in an underground fight club. Her 
turn-ons include skydiving, mixed martial arts, and of course, of course, cowboy butts drive her nuts. Her turn-offs include <laughs> turn-offs include pretty boys and hairy feet. Her most prized possession in her is her collection of posters from the band Hanson. Mmm, <laughs> Bob. How about just a little peck on the cheek? <laughs> All right, and contestant number four is Sasquatch Sally from the Deep North Woods. <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> and her turn-offs include nothing that we could find. <laughs> she hasn't met me. Her greatest achievement was she once ate 50 hard-boiled eggs in one sitting in her time in prison. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on the kiss there, Sasquatch. <laughs> Show me your best dance move. <laughs> We are going to poll the audience. No, that's what I want to see. Or, so by not your, see, but see. By your applause, we would like your votes. So what do we think of Bachelorette number one? Thank <laughs> you. 